16,000 cattle, 14,000 sheep and one stranded ship. That's the number of livestock stuck on MV Bahija vessel at Red Sea for nearly a month. Little did they know that the journey from Australia to Israel would turn into a nightmare. What happened? On January 5th, MV Bahija carrying livestock was en route to Israel. This Israeli ship was carrying the livestock that would most likely end up on the plates of Israelis. But a worse ending awaited them. The ship was to pass through the Red Sea, the same sea where the Houthis and Yemen militants have been attacking ships. MV Bahija was diverted from its original route and has now been stranded for nearly a month with the livestock on board. The animals are in limbo and could either be discharged in Australia, where they would have to be quarantined due to biosecurity rules, or can be sent to a month-long journey around Africa to Israel, avoiding the Red Sea. Despite the sweltering heat, the animals have not been offloaded yet, which has led to criticism from animal activists and farmers. These animals have already gone through 24 days at sea, potential heat stress, poor ventilation, standing in their own waste, they'd be extremely stressed. Amidst the growing concerns, Australian government responded by saying this. We are working towards a resolution as quickly as possible. This incident has raised concerns about Australia's live cattle export to Israel. As Australia is a large exporter of live animals, shipping more than half a million sheep and cattle last year. According to meat and livestock data, Israel is the second largest importer of cattle from Australia. Right now, the Australian government has clearly lost the plot, leaving poor animals stranded on the Red Sea. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.